Sometimes we're playing a video game when we find something that, uh, um, what was I talking about again? This is why today we're diving into five more removed Easter eggs that were never meant to be found. Brought to you by Manscaped. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code oddheader at manscaped.com. And keep an eye out October 2nd for the oddheader plush on makeship.com. Horizon Zero Dawn. Thanks to Abe Godro for submitting this mystery through oddheader.com. I've mentioned before how Horizon Zero Dawn is one of my favorite games, and when Sony brought the once PS4 exclusive to PC last month, I was excited to think that some of the game's mysteries would finally be solved, given PC games are usually easier to hack than console exclusives. However, instead of contributing to an existing mystery, Avgadra submitted a new discovery to me that's stranger than most anything I've seen in the game so far, as Avgadra happened to be in one of the cryptic abandoned underground facilities near the end of the game, when he noticed one of the climbable handholds in the game could be seen on a ledge in the far off distance. Avgadro used this stalagmite to get on top of some ancient machinery and made his way over to the handhold. Ave pulled Aloy up onto the ledge using the mount and found something odd on the other side of the machinery that he didn't expect to find, as he found what appeared to be the carcass of an enormous body, larger than any other body that can be found in the game. Additionally, despite the fact this facility was abandoned for over a thousand years, for some reason in the giant's hand was a completely pristine box of Kleenex that doesn't appear anywhere else in the game. More suspiciously, shortly after Avgadro found this, a patch was released that updated the game, and Ape then noticed the climbable mount to the ledge was completely removed, meaning access to where the Kleenex-wielding giant laid was no longer accessible. Using the game's built-in camera, Abe was able to get a good look beyond the ledge and see that the body was no longer there. And instead, there was only a new layer of stone and stalagmite in its place instead. At first, I was at a complete loss why this would have been taken out of the game, until I took a closer look at the original scene and it began to make sense why he was up here all alone where nobody could see him. As I noticed, not only is there a box of tissue in his hand, but if we look at the intense grip of the other hand and its awkward position, let's just say it seems rather obvious he wanted to spend his final moments alone doing what he loved best, which apparently was himself. A lot. While it's still unconfirmed why this was removed, considering the fact that all these assets were patched out of the game and access to the area was completely cut off, it definitely seems like someone out there didn't appreciate finding a hidden detail like this made it into the game, presumably because it's exactly how it looks. Apparently, all the big guy wanted to do was get one in before the Apocalypse did him in for good. Unfortunately, it looks like the Apocalypse finished him before he could do so himself. At least we can say he held on till the very end. Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon. Thanks to Marshall Howard for submitting this mystery through oddheader.com. During the mission A Timely Entrance, Egad sends Luigi to the old clockworks, casually explaining with nothing particularly interesting to note that years of neglect have made it a favorite haunt for ghosts. Strangely, however, retrieved footage of an unfinished version of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon that was displayed at special events such as Comic-Con. Egad instead originally described the old clockworks as closing down due to a series of horrific accidents. Furthermore, once inside the old clockworks, the player comes upon a series of mechanical clock gears, which you can see from this only existing footage of the unfinished version that's out there. There was originally a lab coat caught in the gears that can't be found in the final game. In addition to this, in the corner of the screen was once an unidentifiable red object that's caught in the gears and appear to be dripping some sort of red liquid. While some say they're sparks, those are clearly droplets. No object in the final game had a dripping or possible sparking animation like that anywhere in the game, and the footage unfortunately just isn't clear enough to make any kind of sure distinction. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're ever going to be able to know what it was for sure as it seems the original team removed what appeared to be a clear suggestion of someone getting jammed in the machinery and dying. As the lab code in the gears, the horrific accident line, and the objects stuck in the ceiling were all nowhere to be found in the final game, meaning Nintendo truly never wants anybody finding out what really happened in the old clockworks tower. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Huge letters on Reddit was hacking a game of zombies and zombies in Spaceland, when he randomly found that by hacking the game to exactly 6,000, the zombies on the map for some reason would randomly be wearing astronaut helmets on their heads. 
Bear in mind it was calculated it would take nearly 90 years of playing zombies normally to get to round 6000. In addition, huge letters noticed there were a number of seemingly unfinished elements to the discovery, such as the fact that if he killed any of the zombies with a trap, their helmets would get caught in the air, leading him to believe that the falling animations for the helmets were never properly implemented, which seemed to strongly suggest he stumbled upon an unfinished easter egg that was never meant to be found. It's since been theorized the space helmets were larger easter egg players would have been realistically able to achieve on the actual map, and that the developers decided at the last minute the easiest way to remove it was to simply move it to a round so high no player would ever be able to legitimately reach and see. That or they expected us to somehow make it to round 6000. I made it to round 4. Huge thanks to YouTuber and my good friend Slippy Slides for hacking the game and making this footage possible, as we just wouldn't have been able to see this without him hacking the game. Check out the latest video I did on Slippy's channel in the link down below. Sonic Adventure In Sonic Adventure in Station Square, players come across Casino Opolis, where inside they encounter a number of bright neon lights, lottery machines, and the regular assortment of details you come to expect in a normal casino locale. One of these details was this rather inconspicuous display that simply said Casino Opolis that doesn't serve any function to the game. Conversely, in Japan, however, in the game's original release date, the display was actually originally a neon cowgirl drinking wine. And as if that wasn't enough, if you ran into the cowgirl while playing as Knuckles, <laughs> you would hear that rather sexual sounding moan. Assumably, that easter egg just didn't fly overseas as the entire cowgirl asset was completely censored from the US release. Well, at least they can be fortunate that it was just a neon sign that they had to remove. As hackers going through an early demo of the game were able to find that the neon cowgirl was originally planned to be a giant 3D modeled woman laying on the floor in a sexy bunny girl outfit. I can only imagine whatever would have happened in this part of Casinoopolis would have stayed in Casinoopolis. By any chance, did this guy work on the game? Watch Dogs in 2016, Epic Stream Man posted to the Watch Dogs Reddit that he and another Redditor, Infinium1, were at E3 talking to some developers about the then upcoming Watch Dogs 2, when one of the developers mentioned there was still an unfound easter egg in the original Watch Dogs. According to the developers there at E3, they had snuck in a Loch Ness Monster easter egg in their additional work on the game where the creature would pop out of the Pawnee Lake if the player waited in a certain spot at a certain time of day. Players tried all sorts of conditions and even found a way to glitch under the lake, but the Loch Ness wasn't anywhere to be found, until David 3 a Watch Dogs product manager revealed that the easter egg didn't make it into the final game, crushing the Watch Dogs community as they never got to see what the Loch Ness monster easter egg would have actually looked like. That is until today, as Galaxy on the Odd Header Discord joined the community to reveal that he somehow managed to trigger the Loch Ness monster easter egg in an older development build of the game that he managed to obtain. I asked him if he could get us footage and now for the first time in 7 years since the game's release, we can finally see what the cut Loch Ness monster easter egg actually looks like. And, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, he looks a little rough as the easter egg was still clearly unfinished at this point. Regardless, this is the only remaining evidence of the easter egg's existence that we know of. And it's awesome to get a look at a deleted easter egg that was once thought would never see the light of day even if it's in a form as unfinished as this. Galaxy also pointed out the only reason he knew the egg was because he managed to catch a glimpse of the Loch Ness popping its head above the water while playing his early build of the game. But when he went to recapture footage to be used for this video, he couldn't figure out how to trigger it above the water again, despite changing the time of day settings in the debug menu and attempting a number of different things. So how exactly this easter egg was supposed to be triggered still remains unsolved, and unfortunately is going to remain unsolved until he figures it out, as again he possesses a special special development build of the game. So unless he manages to figure it out for us, this ugly blob of untextured polygon is pretty much what we're stuck with. And speaking of removed easter eggs that were never meant to be found, another thing never meant to be found that you probably want removed around your own easter eggs would be a disheveled mess of body hair. Keep yourself looking clean at the lawnmower 3.0. I was actually an owner of the original lawnmower and was already impressed with just how well it works in the shower, which is why I was really looking forward to checking out the lawnmower 3.0, what they say is the most advanced trimmer for below the shoulders grooming. And it definitely lives up to expectation. 
as the new model features a 7,000 RPM motor, a 90-minute battery, and my favorite addition, the new LED light. Admittedly, it helps to have a flashlight when tending to the dark side of the moon. And if you purchase the Perfect Package 3.0, you get the best bang for your buck as it comes with an assortment of gifts such as deodorant, toning spray, a cool travel bag, and some anti-chafing boxer briefs. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code oddheader at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Use promo code oddheader with the link down below. Also something near and dear to my heart, I'm truly excited to announce that we're launching the Odd Header plush on Makeshift on October 2nd. It's a very limited run and these things will only get made if we get enough orders. So please, if you know anybody that might want a little odd dude, pick one up on October 2nd. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, please subscribe. And if you know of any more removed easter eggs that we were never meant to find, Come join the Discord, submit to oddheader.com, or even send me a shout on Twitter or Reddit. Shout out to Anna Morris, Arizona T, Bitwith27, Dan Duval, Dead Plastic, Decider12, Deer Mid Crowley, Eddie Toxpin, Flex, James Fadman, Jonathan A. All Ornalis, The New I Fart in Elevators, Rage Spot, Reed De La Rosa, Riley S, Select, Sneaking J, Sosa, Tony Humor, Towerizer, Wade Murdoch, Jan Benier, and Yu Kirby for their Patreon support. Stay tuned.